How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video I'm going to be going over the different, or I guess the hackers you've probably never heard of before. Now when you've seen the news, XYZ company gets hit with a cybersecurity breach or there's you know malware that was introduced into a network uh and you know this municipality just gets completely roundhouse to the nuts you see that all the time on the news the the mainstream i guess i guess just the public in general associates that kind of behavior uh with hackers and while yes that does happen obviously on a frequent basis there's actually a ransomware attack map or ransomware war map which basically is just a google map with pin drops on where like local governments and schools and hospitals get hit with ransomware yes that is a that is a, a portion of cybersecurity that gets a ton of publicity however there is a whole spectrum of hackers out there that you probably have never heard of before uh so this video is just to try to give them some cred you know give cred credit where credit is due uh, and try to explain a little bit about, uh, about the field of cybersecurity to those that are kind of unfamiliar with it. So like I was just talking about ransomware, the, all these attacks, DDoS attacks, I mean, you name it, the media loves to talk about that stuff. That would fall under the realm of red team, even though a red team in an organization does not do any sort of disruptive attacks like that. Um, geez, hold on. I just got a new mic stand thing and I'm trying to work it out. Uh, so that would be red team sort of stuff, meaning they, they come in, they break stuff, they find holes, they do SQL injection, like you name it. They try to exfil as much data as possible and clean up the logs afterwards. So that is red team. Uh, and that's kind of what the notorious hacker is. Uh, and that's the one that gets the most publicity, rightfully so. It's a fun ass t job to do. I've done a red team engagement before and it's pretty damn fun because it's kind of, it was a black box engagement, meaning we put our machine on the customer's network and really wasn't told anything else other than like a few out of scope items, but it's kind of like have at it. And then you have things like gray box where they kind of tell you, I guess I would be, con be considered a gray box where they told us just stay away from this, you know, these machines and then white boxes like we need these specific areas to be pen tested or whatever. So that's red team stuff. Now, what I do on a daily basis is considered a blue team, which is red is red and blue are kind of the opposite. So blue team is the defensive people that don't really get that much credit in the media, rightfully so, because a good blue team doesn't have any sort of PR and stuff like that. The, if, if the blue team is never talked about, that company is doing a pretty good job with their blue team proactive work. So a blue team, what I do on a frequent basis is authenticated scanning. <clears throat> so this is a portion of vulnerability management. There's other teams out there like incident response and malware analysis on the blue team sort of stuff where they're the defensive guys. They're not breaking things. They're trying to prevent things from being broken. So we'll do like a vulnerability scan. We have a scanner. Think of it as Nmap has credentials, authenticates to machines, and pulls the vulnerability data off them, and we work on mitigating those vulnerabilities. We also deploy agents which are installed on machines and report back to a scanning platform with the same sort of stuff, you know, what KBs it has, what software is running on it, what, you know, just general system information, and stuff like that. And then all that data comes in and we aggregate it and work from the most critical to the business, uh, down to the least critical. So there's various things that I could talk about, uh, blue team stuff, which I'm not too familiar with these other teams, so I apologize for that, but like common terms on blue teams is CVE, which stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, CVSS, Common Vulnerability Scoring System, CWE, Common weakness and Weaknesses and Exposures. And I just wanted to clarify after filming, it stands for Common Weakness Enumeration. So I double derped here. On with the video. And we kind of use these terms kind of loosely without really explaining what they are. So CVE is a unique identifier to a vulnerability. It's usually followed CVE, the year, and then just a pseudo random number after it. Uh, CVSS is a scoring system where you take various variables of a vulnerability and score it. Zero being the lowest and 10.0 is being the highest. So if you have a CVSS 10.0, uh, that's shit the pants, world is on fire sort of stuff. Uh, and then CWE, uh, common weaknesses and exposures, which is basically identifiers for cross-site scripting, SQL injection, you know, plain text 
credentials and so on and so forth. So those are some terms that we use, at least in vulnerability management a lot. Uh, you also have things like POC, which is proof of concept, uh, IOC indicators of compromise. So is there like a hash on the machine that is known to be a bad hash with XYZ ransomware or malware and such like that. So that's blue team. Uh, green team is enhanced security automation with design and code. So again, like I was talking about, a blue team is should be pretty hands off. So things like updating machines should be done in the background and automatically. So automation with Python, Ruby and such like that. Uh, yellow team, the architects and builders. So these are the guys that kind of have a little networking experience. So they understand how networks work. We're to put firewalls, we're to do, you know, access control lists and such like that. We're to, you know, do some VLAN segregation and such like that. So that'd be the yellow team. Orange team would be what I'm doing right now where I'm teaching uh, just the general public of these different hackers you've probably never heard of before. And it's also those YouTube videos that you learn how to do XYZ shit on Kali Linux. Uh, so that would be considered orange team. Me personally, like I said, I'm blue team, but I'm a little purple team. It's red team, blue team mix. So I think of from a defensive perspective, but I think worst case scenario, if I was to pwn this machine, which vulnerability or pwn this network, which machines I would go after first. Uh, and then the white team is going to be the people that are boots on the ground. They're the ones actually handling the incidents. These are people that are on call. You could see this color wheel. There's a whole other team of people working in the background that just don't get enough credit for what they do. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. If you're curious on a little bit more about vulnerability management, incident response, or threat intelligence, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below with any questions. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, but then again, Thank you for watching. Uh, hit like on this video, uh, smash that subscribe button, and share this with at least 650,000 of your friends. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you for watching.